best Google camera mod for the Xiaomi Let's Poco F1 this. running MIUI 11.0.4.0 based on Android 10. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and in this video, I'm going to show you the best Google camera mod for the Xiaomi Poco F1 running MIUI 11.0.4.0 based on Android 10. All the files which we're going to use in this video are linked in the description of the video and here are the files which you need. And make sure you install them in the order in which you see them on your screen right now. So surprise surprise we are going to use three Google camera mods for the best Gcam port on your Poco F1 running MIUI 11 based on Android 10. We're going to use a build by BSG, a build by Marlin KU and a build by Sanity. If you use Google Lens then you have to install the second APK. If you do not use Google Lens then you do not have to install the second APK. APK is numbered 3 to 8 are again optional. If you use Google AR stickers I personally am a big fan of Google AR stickers so I always install them on my POCO F1 and if you are in the same boat as me then you need to install the APKs numbered 3 to 8. Another thing you would like to know is that make sure you remove any other Gcam ports which you have installed on your POCO F1 because they might interfere with our current Gcam ports which we are going to install. Once we have installed all the Gcam ports, we will have three different Gcam ports installed on our POCO F1 at the same time. Next thing we're going to do is we'll just drag and drop them and bring them over to our desktop and what that is going to do is just make our life a bit easier. So here it is. This one is the port by Marlin KU. This one is by Sanity and this one is by BSG, you will have appropriate names. Next thing, go into settings, apps, manage apps, sort by app name and clear the data for all these three Gcam ports. What this is going to do is it will ensure that any other leftover settings from any other Gcam port which you had will be cleared out. So we'll select the first one, clear data, clear all data, click on OK and going to repeat the same process for the other Gcam ports as well. Once that is done, we can jump over to the first Gcam port which we are going to use. The first Gcam port we're going to have a look at is the one from BSG. When you open it for the first time, you have to give it all the permissions. Do note this is version 7.03f. We can swipe down, go into settings and turn off the AF data from the screen. And for delay after focusing for video, change it to 8 seconds. If you want to enable 4K in videos, you can do that and make sure that EIS or electronic video stabilization toggle is turned on. We are going to use this BSG build or this BSG Gcam specifically for recording videos because it gives us the capability of recording videos in 24 FPS, 30 FPS and 60 FPS on our POCO F1. And the best part is that EIS works in both 24 FPS and 30 FPS when you record either in 1080p or in 4k if you use 60 fps then unfortunately eis does not work neither in 4k and neither in 1080p so that is the only reason we have installed this bsg 7.3 port on our poco f1 then we will move over to sanity's build again this is based on gcam 7.2 you have to give it all the permissions it is looking for and all you need to do is swipe over to the left and go into night sight. We're going to use Sanity's build specifically for night sight, astrophotography and light trail mode. Why? Because I personally feel that this build provides us the best pictures when it comes to either night sight or you can enable your light trail mode by tapping on that button. Once it is blue, this means that light trail mode has been activated and if you want to force the astro mode you can tap on the moon button and it's going to force astro mode do note i personally recommend that you use a tripod to take pictures of astro mode 
R if you are in the light trail mode. If you swipe down, you do have settings in the night mode. You have the option of running HDR plus on or off. Then you have the option of setting a timer of three and 10 seconds. And you also have the focus option. So you have four different focus options. Right now it is set to auto. You can change it to near, far or infinity. Infinity is generally used when you're trying to take pictures in astro mode. So night sight and other features which come along with night sight such as light trails and astro mode are the only features we are going to use from Sanity's build. No offense to any of the developers but I personally feel that I get great pictures with this combination. Moving over to our last Gcam which we had installed. This is the build by Marlin KU. Again give it all the permissions, click on OK, swipe down and we can go into settings and make some changes. So for standard settings leave everything as it is. I just prefer to keep my location off. You can turn on Google on suggestions, framing hint, turn it on, works absolutely fine. Save selfie as previewed, I prefer to turn it on. Then you have social share. I'm not a big fan and I don't use social share that much so I just prefer to keep it off. Then you have gestures for the volume key action. I prefer to keep it as zoom and the double tap action. I prefer to keep it as switch the camera. Then we can go back. I prefer to turn off camera sounds, leave everything as it is over here. We'll go into color settings, highlight for back cam, need to set it as auto, shadow for back cam, auto, same for saturation, need to set it as auto for both highlight and shadow. Then the fixed hue for front camera need to turn it off or leave it as it is right now. Dynamic black level correction. I prefer to keep it at 5% and turn off the automatic white balance for Gcam. And then we can go back, go into advanced camera level API, keep it as full. I do like to enable Google Photos because I do prefer to edit my portrait pictures which I take in Google Photos. Maximum zoom, bam, 44x in the building works absolutely fine, and that is why we changed the setting to volume rockers for zoom. Just makes it easier. Always use Saber, keep it as always, and everything else, keep it as it is. No need to enable the auxiliary cameras because we do not have auxiliary cameras. And if you want to disable zoom in portrait mode, you can do that as well. HDR plus control, keep it on show dirty lens warning on as well i do not use raw pictures however if you do feel free to enable that option and those are the only settings or only changes which we need to make in the marlin ku build back to marlin ku build we are not going to use night sight because as i mentioned earlier i prefer sanity's build for that in portrait mode you have different options you have the option of face retouching works absolutely fine hdr plus on hdr plus enhanced do note that HDR plus off doesn't work for the POCO F1 so you can always toggle between on and HDR plus enhanced. Then you have timer three options of three seconds and 10 seconds flash is automatic off or on all the time and you can always change the aspect ratio. If you switch over to the front camera you will have different options for the front camera as well again face retouching in the building, HDR, timer, and of course you have selfie illumination in case you prefer to have bright looking selfies. And you can also change the aspect ratio in case you want to. Moving over to camera, again I still prefer Marlin's build for this, and you have the option of face retouching, HDR plus on and off, an option of timer, and you can also change the ratio along with your 44x zoom as I mentioned earlier working like a boss move over to the front camera and you have again face retouching in the building hdr plus on or off selfie illumination and you can always change the aspect ratio in case you feel like doing so then you have video as i mentioned earlier for video we are using bsg's build because it gets us eis 24 fps 30 fps and then if you go into mode, you have the option of panorama. So for panorama, again, we are using this Marlin KU build, takes great panoramas with no black lines. For photosphere, we are going to use this build again, Marlin KU's build, and I do have a photosphere which I took. Here is the photosphere which we took, and as you can see, pretty nice, decent colors, no black lines, no issues, so again, 
for Photosphere as well. We are going to use Marlin KU's build. Then you have slow motion. Now, slow motion will go back to Sanity's build because 1x4x slow motion works like a boss on Sanity's build. No issues to report, no lags, nothing, pretty smooth. BSG's build does have the option of 1x8x slow motion, but it doesn't work. It records a video, but the duration is like in hours. Then going back into more, you have time lapse. For time lapse, you can use any of these three Gcam ports. They are pretty good with it. You do not have any focus issues on any of them. So feel free to use any of the three Gcam ports for time lapse. You can record in 1x, 5x, 10x, 30x, and 120x. Going back into more, you have playground. For playground, again, use any of the Gcam ports. No lag, nothing. Works absolutely fine. All you need to do is drag and drop this guy for the first time. Set it up. Once you've set it up, you can always go back. And now if I go into playground, I will have the option of more content. And here are the different stickers which I have already installed. My friend Pikachu, Avengers in the building, Childish Gambino, and Star Wars. If you want other AR stickers, do not use the install button over here. Use the link which is in the description of the video to download the apks manually and then you can install them once you've added your favorite character to take a picture just press and then to record a video press and hold and it is going to record a video with your favorite character in the scene and before i forget in more you do have the option of lens blur this is what gives another edge to marlin ku's build that you can take portrait shots of objects using the lens blur option now in gcam 7.2 by sanity and in fact in this very marlin ku build you can go into portrait mode directly and try to take pictures of objects it will work fine however if it doesn't then you always have the flexibility of using lens blur mode in marlin ku's build and use that to take portrait shots of objects so there it is peeps that was our best gcam port video for the poco f1 running miui 11 based on android 10 and yes we are using three gcam ports but each of them have something which gets us the best quality pictures and videos from our poco f1 and before i end the video i would like to mention that marlin ku's build and sanity's build they are pretty darn close but somehow marlin ku's build has an edge because of the quality or the level of detail it provides if you feel inclined to use sanity's build feel free to do so the pictures are pretty close and pretty comparable and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you like share and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you